Okay, Troy, I just wanted to give you an update on uh, on your boat, the Maggie Mae. Um, it, trailer, it fit the trailer pretty well. Uh, it fit it, uh, as far as the bunks go, very well, but I've got about three foot hanging off the back here. Uh, and um, we can get us down to about two foot hanging off the back, maybe, by moving uh, this uh, farther forward on the trailer. Of course, you won't be able to pull this behind a van because... You know, you'll only be able to pull this behind a pickup truck uh, for this to be high enough. Uh, while I'm at the ball pulpit, you know, these are some items. I try to remember everything when I made your list today and sent it to you by email, but I don't remember it, didn't remember everything. We've got uh, soft wood in the bow pulpit. Uh, the uh, bow pulpit moves quite a bit, so there's some repair there as well. Um, I would want to move this. Uh, Bow stop forward. Um, we have one cracked plank, one bunk that's the plank is cracked, but uh, by and large the plank is intact and it's uh, you know up here on this front bunk. So it's uh, the crack is just a sliver off the side of the plank. All right. Uh, let's see. Bottom paint is one of the things I addressed. Uh, your bottom paint's about gone down here, so this should have. Uh, a new coat of bottom paint put on. Uh, the sides, you may want to uh, buff the sides. Uh, of course, we buffing the sides doesn't... These things, these scratches that are very deep like this are pretty expensive to repair, but it would look a lot better if it was at least buffed. Uh, these are, that's a cosmetic thing. Uh, Trailer-wise, too, let's see... Uh, Uh, looks like our studs are okay on the wheels. Uh, we got a light. We ought to re go ahead and replace the lights. The lights do work, but uh, there's no lens on that one. Coming around here to the engine. Uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, the outdrive oil was clean. So, uh, but we do have a lot of what's called electrolysis, and it's eating away at the propeller. And so, uh, your propeller at the very least, least needs cleaned and balanced, we can pull that off. We've got a guy that does that uh, for us, uh, so we probably ought to add that to the list. The uh, swim platform that got caught under a dock, uh, it bent these kicker supports, and we can replace those. Uh, it also bent the bolts up here. There's one, two, looks like four bolts, two in the center, one on each side has bent those. Uh, so. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, I'm kind of addressing cosmetics and and mechanicals as we go. Let me see if I can get up here without too much of a strain. The swim platform is pretty floppity. Okay, here we go. I'm up. And uh, I'm in. So we got, I know you talked about having some wood cleaned up, that's cosmetics. This will clean up pretty nice and pretty easily and uh, we can, uh, we can, it uh, looks like it's teak. So we treat that, we bleach that, sand it and treat it with a teak oil uh, rather than varnishing it. The teak doesn't like varnish very well. Of course these lights, uh, we can do the same thing with the lights. The uh, bimini. Replacing the canvas on the bimini top would be in order here and then making a boot so that when this is folded up We just put a boot over the whole thing and it stores the whole thing very nicely it doesn't capture water and cause it the, the, the canvas to rot and so forth so uh, The uh, This seating arrangement Looks okay. The conditions okay the uh, it's not wonderful, but it's okay uh, this one, uh, we can come up with a fairly close match, and we can fix the captain's seat, uh, which, uh, you know, has quite a bit of damage to it. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, electrical uh, shore power cord. This thing has been cut at least twice. I don't know if it was cut at the dock or what, and it's been spliced, and uh, I'm not, you know, that's not safe. We should, they make new cord ends. They're not molded, but we can get a new cord in for it. Slice, cut this guy off right here, shorten it about a foot, then we can make this guy safe again. I think that would be great. Um, 
uh, going down to the cabin um, as I mentioned before uh, there was a problem with the uh, oh and you see a lot of stuff on the floor uh, and that stuff I moved from the shelves and so forth down to the floor um, so that we wouldn't damage it during during transport one thing that I we didn't uh, um, know before transport was that the holding tank was full and that your um, that the toilet uh, does not uh, is not uh, the check valve is not working properly and uh, so sewage from the holding tank came back up in the toilet and actually filled the shower basin as well and your shower basin pump is not working properly so we've got to fix your shower basin pump uh, which is probably under here uh, it will be down in here underneath a panel uh, so I haven't located that but that would be where it would typically be and it pumps your shower water overboard so we got to fix that um, let's see uh, well I think that handles most of the mechanicals and the cosmetic things um, oh um, the hatch will if you uh, want to I'm gonna guess that this thing's gonna be a five or six hundred dollars to replace this hatch probably half a day of our labor which is 300 bucks and I can't imagine being able to buy this thing for less than two or three hundred bucks but we can find the manufacturer uh, if you're in agreement with that we'll start looking for a manufacturer and looking for a replacement for it um, and um, so uh, that's the uh, oh carpets your carpets are pretty badly worn. We can we can replace these carpets and make them more. We can snap them down. Oh, uh, under the, in the engine room, which I can't lift because of this my, one of my shipping straps here. But in the engine room, uh, we have uh, one of the two batteries is dead. And of course, you have an onboard charger. So I would uh, picture uh, checking your electrical system out, putting your onboard charger in service, and charging the batteries up, and then we'll. We'll check that other battery to make sure that uh, um, that it's holding a charge, and if not, then we can replace the battery when uh, the season starts. So, uh, and just a general cleanup and detailing, which I did not put a price on that, but uh, we have a uh, we can get this thing detailed probably for two or three hundred dollars, and we would do that right before we go into storage or right before you put it in the water. Uh, would be the concept. So I uh, just wanted to give you an update on, uh, on your boat, and uh, let me shut this door, and uh, we will uh, we'll see where you want to, how you'd like to proceed uh, forward uh, on, uh, on the work, and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, Troy.